Hello and welcome to an Affinity Revolution tutorial. My name is Ezra Anderson, and today we're going to learn how to make people fly in Affinity Photo. If you'd like to follow along with the same images that I'll be using, I've included a download link in the video description. The first thing you'll need to do to create a levitation effect is pull out your camera and tripod and take two pictures. Your first photo will be a simple photo of the background with nothing in it. The second picture will be of the person while they're sitting or standing on something. Then in Affinity Photo, we can combine the two pictures to make it look like the person is flying. My biggest tip for you is to make sure that all parts of your model are visible. The first time I tried doing this effect, I had my wife stand on a squishy chair and her foot sunk into it. This made it very difficult to merge the two pictures together because it looked like she didn't have a foot when the pictures were merged. That's why I recommend you have your model sit or stand on a hard surface, like a desk or a table. After you've taken your two photos, we're going to bring them into Affinity by coming up to the top to File, New Stack. Then we'll press Add and select the two pictures that we took. Make sure that you have Automatically Align Images turned on and then press OK. Then we're going to select the Move tool and ungroup our two pictures. Now we have both of our photos perfectly stacked on top of each other inside the Layers panel. The next thing we're going to do is apply a mask to the top layer and then paint out this table inside of the picture. By painting out the table, we will reveal the wall that's on the bottom layer. First, we're going to select the top layer and then apply a mask to it. Then make sure that you have the mask selected and press B for your brush. Then by painting in black, we can remove the desk from the photo. If you'd like to make your brush bigger or smaller, remember that you can use the bracket keys underneath the equal sign. It's also a good idea to make sure your hardness is set to 0% and then you can begin painting. You'll also want to zoom in to make sure you're doing accurate painting. Now that we've painted out the table, we have the wall being revealed from the bottom layer. The last thing we want to do is round out her foot so it's not looking quite so flat. To do this, I'm first going to merge all of our layers into one single layer. You can do this by right-clicking on any layer and then select Merge Visible. Now with our new merged layer, we're going to come to the Liquify Persona. Inside the Liquify Persona, we're going to bring the hardness down to 0%. Then I'm going to use the left bracket key to make my brush a little smaller. And then we just need to click and drag to round out the bottom of the foot. Now that the foot isn't looking quite so flat, we can press Apply at the top left. To see a before and after of our liquefying work, we can turn the top layer off and on. That's looking much better. To see our entire picture, we can press Command or Control-0. We've now successfully completed the levitation effect.